What's going on, YouTube? My name's Legendary Land. Today, we are the Tigers, the mighty, mighty Tigers. Oh, oh I'm unbeatable. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the small but mighty premium collection box. I'll tilt it down so I can see. You can see a little bit of what's going on. We have this alternate artwork. I think it's from Cosmic Eclipse. Cosmic Eclipse. We've got uh, 10 packs. It's it's kind of a big box. You can't really see the whole thing. I'll just like slide it through. We'll get to the pack selection here in a minute. And the cool pink plastic right here. It's not like the typical well, white plastic you or clear plastic anyways. You, should, you would see in a normal collection box such as this. This thing runs $50 but now until November the 21st at select target locations. It is... $44, which doesn't make any kind of sense because it officially releases on uh, November the 20th, but I've seen people open this box like two weeks ago, so I'm not really sure what's going on here as to why this has uh, been out, or I don't know. Anyways, we're here to open it. Um, 10 packs. I wish it was as good a value as the Jirachi GX box, which it's just absolutely not. Nothing ever is or will be. This feels super heavy. What else is in this? This is super heavy. I mean, I, it, I should, it should feel heavy. I just literally picked it up, so I don't know why I was, what I was thinking there. Okay. So we've got this cool baby. I thought this was a promo. It's not a promo, actually. It is not a promo. It is just an alternate artwork. I think they started putting this A right here for alternate artwork. But this is it right here. Look at the little Pokeballs and all that around them. Really cool. I like it a lot. Uh, this one actually looks perfect. Actually looks perfect. I'll probably grade that one, to be honest. And there's your code card for this specific card. Let's actually go ahead and sleeve this up real quick. I don't know why I don't have my sleeves out. Oh, that's why. Because I don't ever pull anything good. So. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and sleeve it up. And see if we can't get anything cool out of this small but mighty collection box and today's pokemon card opening boom right there in the thing we've got actually a couple more goodies besides just the packs but let me get these packs up here uh most of them are good most of the packs are good but let's get the rest of this stuff out real quick. oh all the stuff just fell out and i just knocked the card over that's that's good that's great i'm glad i did that super glad i did that all right so first up is this keychain um interesting it's a rubberized uh you know i'm not a fan of keychains i like to keep my keys as light as possible because i gotta go in my jeans pocket here's the pin i do like the pin boom look at that three babies chilling honestly if this was just a togepi box i think that would be more ideal that's just me and here's the coin coin is very unique i like when they do unique coins like this pretty cool actually pretty cool and let's take a look at our 10 packs. I'll go through the selection here real fast, and then we'll start opening. We've got Darkness of Blaze, Sun and Moon, uh, Rebel Clash, Burning Shadows, Burning Shadows, Darkness of Blaze, Sword and Shield, uh, and Sun and Moon. All right, so we'll go through in that order, and first up is Sun and Moon Base Set. First card in today's small but mighty... Pen, what was it? Small but mighty. Premium collection. They're always just called premium collection. I don't know why I didn't realize that. One, two, three, and four to the front. Whatever the ultra area has got a really messed up corner there. Which I don't think really matters from Sun and Moon too much. These, these, the set's not super sought after. Super great. So, it's fine. I feel like the base set of every new generation, the card selection is not just, it's just not that great. Like, X and Y isn't that great. Black and white isn't that great. Dominant Pearl isn't that great. Sword and Shield isn't that great. Like, when are we gonna, like, base set one. That's the best, <laughs> that's the best one. Like, when are we gonna get, like, a, like, Gen, what are we on, Gen 9? Will be, yeah. Yeah, Gen 9 will be the next generation of Pokemon. Maybe their base set of cards will be the good one. I don't even know what this was. This is Crimson Invasion. One, two, three, and four. Four to the front here, we're gonna guess. Fire, and we got electric. Here we go. 
Weedle, Shellos, Bono Bay, Cacnea, Swineb, Magikarp. I just realized the other day that this is like a Team Rocket like robot Magikarp. It's not another Magikarp back there. And a Primate Claymation type deal there. We've got Sword and Shield base here as our next one. Honestly, though, I think the best one is Sword and Shield base since base set one. So they did take a step up here. But it would be nice to see them take an even further step up. One, two, three, and four there. And just do some outrageous, amazing set as the base set of a new generation. What the <laughs> Look at these little guys. They're like freaking terrified. I've never seen that card before. That's funny. Sinisty, Wooloo, Shelter, Croagunk, Silly Cobra, Croagunk, and an Oranguru. Hollow Rare. Wow. Alright, we got Darkness Ablaze up next. I can't remember if there was one or two Darkness Ablaze. Oh my gosh. In this box. It looks like there might just be one. There you go. Boom. Still have yet to pull that Charizard out of this set too, man. I just have... I mean, I've been hitting Charizards pretty, pretty well in um, Evolutions, so I guess I can't complain too much. But the Charizards from... From this set and Champion's Path, and I'm just not, it's, I'm not hitting it. Not hitting it. Darmaka, more lull, and a Blaziken Hollow Rare. Alright, Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. Another one I haven't actually pulled the Charizard from, which fitting since I've maybe opened 50 packs of. No, actually, that's not true. I've opened around 100 packs of Burning Shadows. And I have a ton of Burning Shadows. I got like 10 Elite Trainer Boxes in my uh, inventory in there. Are right, we going to get some Water Energy? Oof. Oof. Got it. Olivia. Everyone forgot about Olivia. She was like, now like Nessa is the new Olivia. And we got a Weavile. Okay, Burning Shadows once again. Wow, this has been garbage. This is like the third video I've recorded today. And they'll probably come out... I don't know if actually they'll come out before or after this, but they've been terrible. Tell you right now, they've been terrible. One, two, three, and four. We're going to guess uh, electric energy. We got a psychic energy. Plumeria, Semipor, Super Scoop Up, Inkay, Dewfighter, Tangela, Hoot Hoot, Sandigast, Gloom, and a Slow King. Chilling on the beach. We got four packs left, and honestly, oh, there is a darkness, another darkness of blaze. Okay, okay. We got Rebel Clash. Hoping there was going to be an evolutions pack in this. There was not. There was not. You hate to see it, but it is what it is. One, two, three, and four to the front here. We're going to guess fire. Ah, ah. All right, we got a horror energy. Heat more. Toxel, Litwick, Lotad, Clefairy, Voltorb, Lotad, and a Ninetales V. Our first ultra rare of today is Small But Mighty Premium Collection Box opening. Toss it to the back there. I like Ninetales. Ninetales is a cool Pokemon. All right, let's get through this garbage. Let's just get through this garbage. Nobody's here to see this. Nobody's here to see this. We're just going to shuffle right through it real quick. Boom, boom. Oh, looks like they've got something. Nope, just kidding. And, yep, there it is. There's your code. Don't know why you'd want it, but there it is. All right, here we go, guys. Two packs left, and you know what that means. It's time for the Triple P, the penultimate Pokemon pack. Today's honorary victim is <laughs> Sun and Moon Base is the Triple P for today's opening. Let's see if the Triple P can come through for once. Honestly, it hasn't yet. It hasn't yet. I'm trying to, like, will it to happen. Like, the Triple P will be something special going forward. Like, that's where the real the real magic happens is at the Triple P. But it ain't happened yet. Sun and Moon base. Honestly, it could happen, but it wouldn't be that great. So here we go. What is that? That's the... Wait, what the hell? Oh, it's a reverse. Oh, I couldn't tell it was reverse at first. Okay, so we got a Tauros GX. Okay. I couldn't tell that this was hollow at first, but it is. It's a hollow... Reverse, and then there is our Ultra Rare. So back to back, look at that. Back to back, the Triple P comes through. I think it might be the first <laughs> Ultra Rare on the Triple P yet. 
to be honest. I don't know. But we're getting into Darkness of Plays for our last pack, Magic. Here you go with the code. Set that down. We're going to go one, two, three, and four to the front. We're going to guess Metal. Ah. It's grass. It's grass. We got a Dartrix. Dedene eating a mushroom, tripping out. Birdkeeper. Centret. Rowlet. Chubby Cheeks. Spinarak. Larvista. Playrun and the Rare. A Mr. Rhyme. Don't know why. It should not say Galeria Mr. Rhyme. There is only Mr. Rhyme. There is no other version of Mr. Rhyme, so there's no need to specify it's Galarian because there's not a Kanto in or a Alola. There's no other version. It was just discovered, I guess, in Galar. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Honestly, the best thing we got today was this sick looking promo card. Sorry, not a promo card. It's an alternate art of, it looks like Cosmic Eclipse, but I, I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below because I'm not 100% on it. All I know is it looks sick and it's going to be graded. So you probably see it on the next PSA submission video. Hope you did enjoy today's video, guys. Make sure you're subscribed. And until next time, stay legendary.